Hey everybody, it's Tim and welcome to Focus Friday. Today I want to talk about that point where you don't know what to do. And so in the past day, uh, I've been talking to clients who have opportunities that are bigger than anything they've ever imagined. And so they sort of ran right past what they knew and they're standing in completely undiscovered country and they're looking around and thinking, whew, I don't know what to do here. And I've also had a client with a huge setback. And so they felt like their business was moving along and then external events that had nothing to do with them sort of pulled out a chunk of revenue and they feel like they've taken a giant step back and all of a sudden, they're looking around and they don't know what to do. And yet another client that I just spoke with, they're on an extraordinary business development tear. And so uh, they've actually had to, they've tried raising their prices to slow down the biz dev. They've, uh, they've tried putting in waiting lists and all that sort of stuff, but the biz keeps on coming because what they do is awesome. And so they are having staff growing problems. And so, and they don't know how to grow as fast as their business is. So what do you do when you look around and you don't know what to do? Well, there's a, there's a couple of ways that you need to think about this. Number one is, and this isn't the way you should go about this, is you can retreat, you can move backwards and you can go, you can revert back to the state where you knew what to do. That's not super helpful. Number two is, you know, you can sort of like try to gut it out and hope that you'll just get through it, which, you know, which, which is, is, is admirable. And, and, you know, and completely possible. And then there's the third way, which is to stop and think, not that everything here is unfamiliar or I don't know what to do, because you actually do know what to do. You just don't know what to do next. And the very easiest way to do this is to reverse engineer it. So if you put yourself into a future state where things are better or different, or you have a bigger staff or whatever, if you were able to imagine that future state and you know, you can imagine what your organization looks like, you can imagine what your team looks like, you can imagine what your revenue looks like, and then you just start to think backwards. So what's what, what's, 10 days before that future state? What's one month before that future state they're envisioning? What's one, what's one quarter before that future state? And you can actually sort of reverse engineer the things that you would need to do in order to move through all of those milestones that get you to the, the future state. Um, and the cool thing is your brain does this super duper well on its own. And so if you really think, okay, I, here's where I wanna be. I want my sales to be twice as big. The revenue be twice as high. I'd like to have four more people doing this and I'd like to have two more people doing that. And so now I'm looking and thinking, okay, so I know I need to add five resources. Okay, so who would those five be? You know, what kind of people do I want? Who, you know, where might I find them? How much money might they want to make? And so you've just moved backwards in time to the, the minute before you've hired them. Great, so you, you've sort of taken one step closer you know, from your future state to where you are. And then you're going to think, okay, awesome. Now, how do I get the money to be able to afford them? Which means I need to get three or four more customers or five more customers, a hundred more customers. Okay. So what do I need to put in place to, in order to get that? So to get, you know, 10 customers, I need to have 50 sales conversations. So how do I get 50 sales conversations? You take one step back and say, okay, that means I've got to have this many leads in my pipeline. And so you can actually reverse engineer all of this stuff so that you can understand what you need to do next. So you have built business before. You've landed clients. So you know how to land a client. So 
instead of panicking, you just need to sort of say, okay, what do I need to do in order to get through this hump? Like I, I'm in a revenue trough. What do I need to do to break out of it? How many customers do I need to get in order to get to this near-term state that I want? Or if it's you're in a hiring jam, okay, who do I want? You know, who can join the team and what can I, and how can I help them land quickly? And, you know, what kind of qualities do I want in this person and who can help me find this person? And so all of a sudden, instead of being in the panic state where we need to hire, you've already started to ask some questions. You just started to identify who they are. You started to identify where they might be and you started to identify where there's help. So, and if you're trying to land the big business, you need to stop and think, okay, I've landed business before. What's different about this business? Oh my goodness, it's bigger, okay? Great. And so it's bigger. What does it look like when you're on the other side of having landed it? You know, you feel successful, you've got all these people. And then so then you take a step back and realize like, okay, so what do I need to do? I need to be able to present something that's really compelling to them. Something that's, of, uh, you know, that's a, that, they, that they value highly that I get paid fairly for. And so what do I need to know in order to figure out what that is? And then you know what questions to ask in your discovery with these bigger people. And so you can kind of solve your own problems by imagining yourself on the other side of them. And then using that magical computer in your head to sort of reverse engineer what you need to do today. And this actually is, uh, it is actually sort of the, the, um, the basis of, of this book called Psych Psycho Cybernetics. Um, but it is something that uh, even before I read that book, something I've been doing my entire life is where you start to imagine yourself in a future state and then understand what are the logical steps that I needed to take in order to get there. And while that doesn't solve all your problems, what it does is it actually quells the panic because instead of saying, I don't know what to do, you can reverse engineer what you want and then think, okay, I know what to do next. Now, you might have an imperfect knowledge of, of, of what, what's gonna happen or what you need in order to take all those steps. And that's why you can hire folks you know, like my company, uh, where we actually help you figure out those steps and take them with you. Uh, but you can create a framework of understanding how to take the next step all on your own. And uh, down here somewhere, there's going to be a link to psycho, psycho cybernetics. It's a little dry, but uh, completely worth the read. And I hope that you were able to reverse engineer your way into having a great day. This has been Focus Friday. Take care.